Hello everybody, welcome back. In today's video, we are gonna attempt to pair our Chilabrachis species Discolus Blue, the Vietnam Blue. Now, the Chilabrachis species are renowned for being very, very harsh on the males. And uh, as a little warning, at the end of this video, our little male does end up becoming dinner. So bear that in mind, but it's very important that you try and watch all the way through to the end to appreciate the actual courtship involved with these particular spiders and what they go through to actually um, eventually get a successful pairing um, so try and bear with it it's very very interesting footage and uh, bear with it right up through to the end and um, so that you get a full understanding of what goes on in the world of these spiders it really is fascinating stuff so without further ado we'll crack on with the video and I will see you at the end so sit tight get comfortable and enjoy the video see you soon. Hi, welcome back everybody. Today we are going to attempt to pair our Disculus Chilobrachis Disculus Blue, commonly known as the Vietnam Blue and also known as the Asian Smoky Earth Tiger or the Burma Chocolate Brown. Now this is a large a large species of burrowing spider and as you can see here the burrow in the background now the male we've just popped in there now and you can see he's he picks up her pheromones immediately from the webbing and he's just signaling now you also know that at the moment he's literally just waving his pedipalps there's no contact with the floor yet and you'll see his body is shaking it's moving all the time. He's just checking out to see if there's anyone home. Ah, and there appears to be. Here she comes. Now with this uh, particular species of spider, these are sexually dimorphic. She is much, much bigger than him. And he is, qu he is quite frail in comparison. Now, this is probably due to design, as we will see later on. Notice now the pedipalps, he's actually waving them together. Here she comes. These guys are very, very cautious. And unfortunately, the females are very harsh on the males. We're just getting the introductions out of the way. Here we go. Now some may mistake this for being aggressive behaviour from her, but it's not. This is all part of their courtship. If she was being aggressive or she saw him as food immediately, she would have tore out of that burrow and just nailed him straight away. But as you can see, they're talking to one another all the time. Now you'll see with the male there that his first leg is stretched out and it's quivering at the moment. You see how he waves it? This is where he's trying to make physical contact. He can't quite reach her yet. Look at that, there she goes. Now when she lifts her body there, I'm, I'm sort of beginning to think that maybe this is almost her way of offering herself up. Here we go, we had contact there. And you notice as soon as we have physical contact, the tempo heightens. We're still not 100% sure yet. We're still, um, we're on the introduction stage. 
see the size difference now. She is much, much heavier than him. Now an interesting thing with this particular species is with the females. You'll see there's a lot of blue in the front of them. Uh, this is dependent on how the light catches them. But just pre-molt, these guys will go from that brown colour with the blue legs to almost black blue all over. And then they'll molt out so you know when she's getting ready to molt. This particular female molted around about two and a half months ago. It's taken a while to get this male. Now, positioning for the males is always very, very important. And you can see there that the male is constantly looking to make sure that he gets a good position where he, he can escape if needs be. You see the constant talking now. They're shaking. He is shaking all the time. But you'll notice the female doesn't shake at all. She literally just does the, the foot waving and stomping. See, he's reaching out. He's trying to make contact with her again. She's very relaxed. We're all looking good at the moment. He's getting a little bit more courageous. Here we go. Contact again. Notice how the tempo has picked up again. She's almost teasing there. She's sort of backwards, forwards, backwards. She's very, very subtle now. You notice the way she's uh, flicking those legs. It's very gentle at the moment. And she's encouraging him to make the next move. You see how he's holding his pedipalps high? Look at that, the whole posture is waving. This is very, very similar to an aggressive stance, but it's, it's, it's very different as well. But from the outset, they almost look like they're in an aggressive stance. Here we go, contact it here. Now look, we've made contact. And you notice how she's dived back down the burrow. This is a crafty move with this particular species. Here we go. He's following her down there. Now we've got a lovely view. We're seeing the view from her perspective now. Here he goes. Oh, here we go. I'm going to try and, try and pair now. You can see the conditions in there are quite cramped. Now then, here we go. Oh, look. He can't quite reach. And you can see the emboli on the end of his pedipalps there very, very clearly. And you see how much he is under there. Now look, this is her epigastric furrow. And uh, this is where he needs to inseminate with the female. And you can see she is very responsive there. Very receptive. But look, look at the way she's holding it. She's holding her abdomen up which is not making access particularly easy for him. So we've got a little bit of a standoff here now. Now bearing in mind it's taken around about three odd hours to get to this stage and uh, it's a very long courtship with these guys. And you can see he is still signalling in the background and she is still being responsive. Here he goes again. He's coming back in but there's just not room. Look how she holds her abdomen up. She is teasing him. She's saying, come on, get it. And then right when he gets in there, she lifts her abdomen so he can't reach. Now this is almost like a game of chess. She is trying to entice him all the way underneath her, where he will become a very easy meal for a big, powerful spider like her. And he knows this. So he is trying to draw her out of the burrow where he's got a little more room. He's trying again under there. Look, see how the abdomen is held high again? She is not making this easy. He 
See, they're constantly trying to chat each other up here. Now he's come out of the burrow now, and look, he's he's trying to get her out. He's realised that he's not safe in there. He's keen though. This is the problem. He is keen. See how she backs down into the burrow, into the tightness of that the burrow there, and it, it makes it very difficult for him to actually get in there and inseminate her. Now I can imagine he's probably getting quite frustrated at this point. We've now come around to about four hours now that we've been playing this game. And you can see there he's he's constantly waving, look and she comes out then she goes back in again. She's a little bit more out now, look. He's getting there. Notice how his legs are almost bent double over his back. She is making him reach right the way underneath her. Now it seems to be um, pretty common for the for the Chilabrakis to um, to have this mating courtship, and as we said earlier, the females are incredibly tough on the males, and. It seems to be very rare that a male actually gets out alive. Now this is must be down to pure design. You see how he is folded in half trying to reach her epigastric furrow. See there's constant contact there. He's coming, look, he's, he's walking backwards, he's trying to draw her out. This is literally like a game of chess. She comes out a little bit, he goes in, tries it. She's she's a little bit more out now than she was before. Notice how his legs are holding hers back. But he cannot compare in strength to her. She is in full control of this situation. This is really just a case of, will he just commit in frustration and she will eventually get her meal? Or will he just lose all confidence and disappear? I find with the male chillabrackies, they're normally pretty confident. It's almost like he knows this is a suicidal mission. Here we go, we've got in there now. He looks a little further under than he was before. Oh, dearie me, there we go. And unfortunately, that is the end of our little male. You would have seen there just before she grabbed him that um, he just had a final little stab, which would have been the insemination, hopefully. This is nature at its rawest term. Thank you for watching. Right then, so as we were saying, it's not always a good ending for our little males. And uh, as you saw in the video there, he was quite a courageous little thing. Now, um, that, that video we cut down to about 12 minutes or so, that actually took around about four and a half, five hours to actually culminate from the beginning right the way through to the end. So they have a very long courtship. And, um, and as you can see, it's a real game of cat and mouse. The female is constantly trying to lure the male back into the burrow. And the male is constantly trying to lure her out of the burrow, where he's got a little bit of space, where he can manoeuvre. But as you would have seen in the video there, whenever he came in to inseminate her, she would lift her abdomen up. Now, most of the spiders that you see, especially on our other videos, you'll see that the female actually arches her abdomen underneath herself pushing it towards the male this makes it easier for the males to inseminate but with the chillabrackies for whatever reason we're not fully understood really that she actually tempts him further and further underneath so she lifts her abdomen up making it very very difficult for him but this ensures that she gets a meal so it sort of beggars the question now as to whether this is actually all part of the design. And I, I think it, it most certainly is. She, she is 
actively seducing him to a point of suicide. And this is what it's all about. So it's very, very important. This is why I stress that, you know, for you to watch it right the way through to the end, because it's important to understand that all these different species of spiders have very different courtship displays. And some are very relaxed, others very harsh. So, uh, yeah, hopefully, fingers crossed, we'll have a sack at the end and all would have been well, good and well, you know, hopefully he was successful. So we will follow this story through and um, try and get her to drop a sack. And um, we are in the lap of the gods now, so we will just have to wait and see. So I hope you enjoyed that and I hope you found it um, interesting to see the different displays and, and what goes on. It's fascinating stuff with these spiders, fascinating. So then, don't forget, be calm, be gentle, and love your spiders. And I'll see you again soon, guys. Cheerio.